one single drop of blood. It can reveal almost any virus, many cancers, your cholesterol level, information for diabetics, and now, for the first time, your blood can uncover your mental state. Inside Science TV. We found a series, a panel of markers that have different levels in patients with depression. Neuroscientist Eva Reddy and her team at Northwestern University have found signs in the blood that could change how depression is diagnosed. Depression is truly one of those illnesses that have uh, been diagnosed very subjectively. Today, more than one in 10 people in the United States are living with depression and it's estimated at least half of the people who are depressed are not diagnosed at all. We also know that primary care doctors only diagnose about 50% of them correctly. That's because right now, diagnosis is based on Q&As in the doctor's office. It's basically a conversation. But this blood test could take the guesswork out of it. The test looks at levels of nine RNA blood markers. RNA is the molecule that carries out instructions from DNA genetic code. It acts as a messenger to create proteins that perform important functions in our body's cells. The RNA markers look different in patients with depression versus those who don't have depression. A study of 32 adults found that levels of these markers changed after 18 weeks of cognitive behavior or talk therapy. The change in blood markers showed the test could detect physical evidence that the therapy was working among patients who said they felt less depressed after therapy. So these RNAs reflect the state that person is in. The test can predict who will benefit from cognitive behavioral therapy and who won't. It's really the first time to see objective biological blood-based markers for cognitive behavioral therapy. I didn't believe it. I mean, I was so surprised that it occurred, but it did. Making this test useful for diagnosing and determining the best course of treatment for depression, giving peace of mind to those struggling with the disease. The patient will know uh, with a security that they do or do not have depression and they don't feel the stigma. They won't feel that it is any different than any other illness. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.